over time. People are like, we don't need the groove because we just want like the pictures, we want like the cleanliness, we want all that. And it's not wrong, it's just that's how the divergence went. So when you understand when you're studying these two different forms, you have to see it that way. But the idea is you need to keep in hip hop the groove, that's what's important. That ties everything. They got pictures of you. Homicide came to the crib last night. I really wanted to figure out how can I uh, relate to people of my generation who are dancers and younger. Because I know a lot of people from my generation and younger, they don't see foundation styles unless they really were either raised into it or were taught to appreciate all that stuff. And it's okay if you don't like appreciate the foundations but like when you take from them and you feel like all you want is like the techniques and the movement you're not getting what you what you are supposed to be getting and pretty soon if you don't have really good work ethic all your stuff's going to be watered down and watered down as you teach it and so when people like me and other people older than me pioneers who teach this stuff we don't have the financial stability to teach you all the foundations that you guys need well then there's still foundation even though there are tutorials out there to like teach you this is how you do stuff and like even in urban dance class there's still foundation that is missing that you could be adding to your stuff and so I really wanted to show people like struggles that come with with uh, learning foundation styles and how you have to understand all these different things in order to say that you're doing it you know, I get people want to do urban dance and all that, but like when you say you want to teach like hip hop, you want to teach a style, and all you know is the technique, it's not enough. I really wanted to make sure that this was relatable and relevant to not just people getting into freestyle, but also people that are still are in the urban dance scene or who are part who are getting into choreography and still understanding what freestyle is to understand hip hop as a dance style and to also see other dance styles as something that needs to be well respected, well kept, and well treated, well respected, yeah. Um, there's a quote from uh, one, of my, one of my elders, you can start dancing for the wrong reasons, but stay for the right ones. And so I think for a lot of new gen, keep that in mind. And also always look towards like, always ask questions about alumni and your elders, because people say like, oh yeah, history repeats itself and you have to know it, but like, that's not, clear enough like you need to know history so you can take the things that were achieved and were not achieved and failed in the past to improve your life pretty much it learn from each generation take what you can uh don't if there's a if there's something that didn't work for the previous gen figure out why if it doesn't work if it makes sense that it didn't work throw it away keep what works throw away what doesn't yeah